This is a close view of what would be a renal lobe, except that the renal columns which would form the sides of this renal lobe are not present. But here you have the pyramid which you would find within the renal medulla, and here you have the renal cortex. You have the renal capsule right here. Below the renal capsule, the renal cortex is the location of the renal corpuscles. These spherical objects are renal corpuscles. Then you have the boundary between the renal cortex and the renal medulla. And right along this boundary, you can see the arcuate artery and the arcuate vein. If we follow blood as it enters, it is going to enter by way of the interlobar artery. And the interlobar arteries are then going to give rise to the arcuate arteries. And coming off the arcuate arteries, you have the interlobular arteries. Now, if we take a closer look at the interlobular artery, you can see coming off the interlobular artery, we have these branches which are going to their respective renal corpuscles. These vessels are referred to as afferent arterioles. Inside the renal corpuscle, the afferent arteriole becomes the glomerulus of the renal corpuscle, and then blood is going to leave the renal corpuscle by way of the efferent arterioles, which you can see leaving here. The efferent arterioles then branch into another bed of capillaries, referred to as the peritubular capillaries. The peritubular capillaries drain into the interlobular veins, which are then going to drain out through the arcuate veins and then the interlobar veins to the segmental veins and out through the renal vein. Now, the nephron is the functional unit of the kidney. And in this particular model, you're only seeing two complete nephrons. So here, here is one complete nephron, and here is another complete nephron. This nephron, which has a renal corpuscle which is more superficial in the cortical tissue, is referred to as a cortical nephron. And this one, which has a renal corpuscle which is closer to the boundary between the cortex and the medulla, is referred to as a juxtamedullary nephron.